Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey. Thanks for stopping by and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Are y'all feeling this hair? Like, are y'all feeling this? Because I'm feeling it. I'm low-key giving myself Beyonce vibes. This video is brought to you by DivaTrust.com. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me to do this video. They were kind enough to send me five packs of this hair right here that I used in the video. And this is the Afri Natural Caribbean Natural Water. This hair is 18 inches long. I wanted a 1B27 and a 1B30, but they sent me all 1B27, so I just worked with that to get the dimension in the hair because as y'all can see, it's not all like the blonde at the same area. I used the hair on the back and the side, the length that it came in the 18 inches and then trimmed it. And then at the top of my hair, as you can see up here, I cut it in half and then I showed you guys two ways that you can do the ombre effect. So you can still have like the blonde at the ends. Cause as you guys can see, I have like some brown, some little blonde pieces down here. I got a lot of blonde right here. Some little blonde highlights going on over here and in the back as well so that's what i did and i'll turn around so y'all can see the back so yeah i'm really really loving this hair i will just out again because it's bomb so yeah you guys i hope you enjoy this video if you guys have any questions that i did not answer in the video or in my voiceovers anything like that then leave them in the comments down below and y'all know i will get back to you um, and this makeup look i'm not sure if i'm putting this up first and i'll leave it in the description box and in the eye in the corner and i love you guys so much see you in my next video all right guys so here's the hair that i'm using like i said this can be purchased on divatress.com i will leave the link to the hair down below so on the back it just shows you guys the other styles that they have and this is how much hair that you will get in each pack when you purchase the hair. So here's my braid pattern. Y'all know my mom braids my hair and it's usually a lot smaller and a lot neater. But she was rushing so it's okay. Um, I'm oiling my scalp with some wild growth oil. Any oil will do the trick but always make sure you oil your scalp before you do a protective style. So y'all know I like to stretch out my strands before I separate to get rid of any shed hair. And then I separated these strands um twice which gave me three strands from each individual piece and then i like to twirl my finger around the curl pattern to get it back like defined i'm just getting up close to show you guys what i'm doing but i'm pretty sure y'all have either done crochet or you know seen it before but um yeah i just like to loop the hair around at least five times to make sure that it will not slip out slide out anything like that what y'all can do you can take the strand of hair this is how long it is you can cut this in half Cut that in half like that, right? So to keep the ombre, obviously if you fold it over like this, you have the root color and the end color right there. That's not gonna work. So what you wanna do, I'm gonna split this in half like that. So take the two root pieces right here and overlap them like so. So y'all see that? You got the root tip. Take sure. the two top halves that you cut, cross them over each other like that, fold it over. You got your loop here, and it's still ombres like that. And there you have it, you have your ombre effect, and it's shorter so I just okay so when y'all are doing the back part of your head try not to space your strands too close together so you guys can see like how I pretty much space it out in the back um just make sure that you know you don't leave too big of spaces but you don't want it to be super bulky in the back of your head so now right here what I'm doing I took one individual piece without separating it, and then I just like kind of separated it when I put it in my head just so that I would have like different textures within the install if that makes sense to you guys.
pieces. I just took one piece, folded the top root part down and made its own loop like that and then crochet from there. So you can do either one. Okay, so yeah, you guys, at the top of my head now, I'm doing our interchange between the two ways that I showed you guys. You can do the ombre, but they are cut in half. So I just continued with that on my last um, two braids. And then I proceeded to cut the hair. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial, I will leave that in the description box as well as in the eye in the corner. So check that out because I kind of just sped through this. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did, you guys. If you guys have tried this hair, let me know. And if you plan on trying it, let me know and tag me on Instagram so I can see you guys' installs, girl. I want to see how you out here slaying. So yeah, you can tag me um, at the Hair Life on Instagram or Twitter. Enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and share this video. And I will see y'all my next one. All right, y'all. So here is the finished look. Thank you, Diva Trace, again. I um, mean, like I said in the beginning, if there are any questions that I did not answer, leave them in the comments below, or you can tweet me on Twitter at the Hair Life, and I will answer any questions you have. All right, y'all. See y'all my next video.